we're about to uncover 10 mysterious civilizations that no longer exist. Welcome back to FTD Facts, Leroy Kenton here. Let's jump in, this is gonna be a very fascinating one. Number 10 leads us to the Khmer Empire. This one encompassed the regions we now know as Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Vietnam, Myanmar, and Malaysia. Flourishing during the initial millennium, this empire boasted a population of approximately 1 million individuals. The Khmer people embraced both Hinduism and Buddhism, erecting temples, towers, and other sophisticated structures. The empire's decline can be attributed to a combination of factors, like the intrusion facilitated by the expansive road network constructed by the Khmers to ease transportation when it came to goods and troops, across their empire. Number nine takes us to the empire of Aksum. The Aksum empire emerged in the first century AD in the region that now encompasses Ethiopia. According to legend, it is said to be the birthplace of the queen of Sheba and Aksum served as a vital hub for trade exporting commodities such as ivory, resources, agricultural products, and gold to the Roman Empire and India. This prosperous society held the distinction of being the first African culture to mint its own currency, which is a symbol of great power, especially during that era. Initially, the early Aksumites practiced a polytheistic belief system with the primary deity being Astar, However, in the year 324, King Izana II converted to Christianity, transforming Aksum into a Christian culture. Now, it's said that a pagan queen contributed to the empire's decline, but others say that it was because of climate change and famines. From there, we move on to the Nebatines. The Nebatine civilization thrived in southern regions of Jordan, the Canaan region, and northern Arabia. These Semitic people constructed the cities of Petra carved into the sandstone cliffs of the Jordan Mountains. Notably, they demonstrated remarkable expertise in hydraulics, constructing an intricate system of dams, canals, and reservoirs that enabled agricultural growth in an otherwise arid desert region. Now, no written record from the Nebatines have survived, leading us with scarce knowledge about their culture. Nevertheless, this civilization prospered due to its advantageous geographical position, which facilitated the establishment of a prosperous trade network. Now, it's said that during the fourth century BC, the Nebatines eventually departed from Petra, leaving behind a lingering mystery as to the cause of why they departed. Moving on to number seven, let's take a look at the Olmec civilization. In ancient times, the Olmecs thrived as a remarkable pre-Columbian civilization. The earliest evidence of their existence dates back to about 1600 BC, and the Almecs were highly skilled builders, as evidenced by the presence of colossus stone monuments, particularly the famous giant stone heads found at these sites. This civilization laid the groundwork for all subsequent Mesoamerican cultures, and they are credited with potentially being the first to develop a writing system, and they likely made significant contributions, such as inventing the compass and formulating the the Mesoamerican calendar. Coming up at the number six spot, we have the Mycenaean civilization. The Mycenaean civilization thrived not only through trade, but also through conquest, expanding its empire to encompass a significant portion of Greece. Flourishing for approximately five centuries, the Mycenaean civilization eventually vanished around 1050 BC. Now, the legacy of this civilization is interwoven with numerous Greek myths, including the legendary figure of the king Agamemnon, who led the Greek army during the Trojan War. Culturally, the economically prosperous Mycenaean civilization has left behind a wealth of artifacts, and the exact reason for their decline and disappearance of the civilization still remains uncertain. It's a big mystery still. Coming in at number five, we have the Minoan civilization. They remain undiscovered until the earliest 20th century, and over time, cities and palaces were constructed by them and continually rebuilt, becoming increasingly intricate. Notably, the Palace of Gnosis, often associated with the labyrinth of King Minos, from which the civilization 
derived its name, stands as a significant archaeological site today. The initial language spoken by the Minoans was known as Linear A, which was later replaced by Linear B. Now, both writing systems were based on pictograms and have yet to be deciphered. It is conjectured that the Minoans face a catastrophic consequence due to a volcanic eruption or something. And this volcanic eruption happened on the island of Terra, which is modern day Santorini. The civilization at number four is Cucuteni Tripilia. The Kogikteni Tripilia civilization, situated in present day Ukraine, Romania, and Moldova, constructed the largest Neolithic communities in Europe. This civilization, boasting nearly 15,000 inhabitants, mysteriously vanished from the face of the earth. The Kukuteni Tripilia culture is notable for its distinctive pottery. Also, they had a practice of intentionally burning down their villages every 60 to 80 years, only to rebuild new settlements on the remains of the old one. Presently, approximately 3,000 archaeological sites have been identified, revealing insights into this matriarchal society centered around a mother goddess. And various theories attempt to explain the disappearance of the Kukuteni Tripilia civilization. One prominent hypothesis suggests that drastic climate change led to severe droughts. Or maybe they burnt down their civilization by accident. Coming up at number three, we have the Clovis. The Clovis culture, which was a prehistoric Native American culture, remains shrouded in mystery, and our knowledge about them is very limited. It is believed to have existed in North America, with its name derived from the Clovis site, which is an archaeological site near Clovis, New Mexico. Now, the discovery of stone blades and bone artifacts at the site in the 1920s provided some insight into this culture. Now, the origins of the Clovis people are thought to be from Siberia, migrating to Alaska across the Bering Strait towards the end of the last ice age. However, whether they were the first culture in North America still remains uncertain. The Clovis culture came to an end relatively abruptly, and the reason for this disappearance remains very speculative. It is also possible that members of this culture dispersed and assimilated into other Native American tribes. Next up, let's talk about the Indus Valley Civilization. The Indus Valley Civilization, spanning across what is now Pakistan and Western India, stands as one of the vast lost civilizations of ancient times. Despite its significance, our understanding of the civilization still remains very limited. And we do know that the people of this civilization constructed over a hundred towns and villages, including the renowned Mohenjo Daro. Their cities boasted advanced sewage systems as well as indoor sanitation, and they excelled in fields such as astronomy and agriculture. Also, on top of that, they were pioneers in the production of cotton clothing. Now this civilization vanished uh, thousands of years ago and several theories have emerged in attempt to explain its disappearance. Like one is environmental changes such as the drying of the Gagar Hakra River or colder and drier temperatures. Or another theory suggests that the region was invaded by the Aryans around 1500 BC. Ending off with number one, we have the Mayan civilization. Its magnificent monuments, towns, and roads were eventually reclaimed by the Central American jungle, while its population dispersed into smaller villages. Although Mayan language and traditions continue to survive to this day, the pinnacle of their civilization occurred during the first millennia AD when their grand architectural marvels were constructed and their influence extended across a vast region encompassing present day Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize. Regarded as one of the greatest lost civilizations in Mesoamerica, the Mayans possess a system of writing, advanced knowledge in mathematics, and developed a sophisticated calendar. Their engineering prowess was also evident in the constructing of pyramids and terraced farms. And the precise reason though behind the disappearance of this highly advanced civilization 
remains a subject of intense archaeological debate. But it is hypothesized that internal conflicts combined with climate change may have led to agricultural decline and subsequent famine, which prompted the abandonment of their cities. All right, guys, we come to the end of this episode looking at 10 mysterious civilizations that no longer exist. It definitely piqued my interest as to why. Like, why? There's so much mystery here. Hope you did enjoy it, though. If you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. And I want to know all your thoughts and comments. Sound off down below. Join on the conversation. Until next time, guys, stay awesome, stay educated, and I'll see you in the next episode.